Well, hello out there in Patriot Nation. We made it. We made it through the rigorous grind and endless journey called testing for the first semester. We've got a whole 15 weeks to wait till we have to do it again next semester. <laughs> We're ready and uh, ready to rock and roll then too, but everybody did a great job and I, I want to thank the students who, who came regardless how they felt. They knew they had to take the test and they did anyway, so thank you all. I appreciate it. Thanks for the teachers and their flexibility and their patience uh, with the adjusted schedules and all that. It's time to get back to normal, so uh, I'm glad for that. Just for a week, and then we're uh, then we're off on Christmas break. Um, but it, thankfully, that part's over with. Everybody did great, so thank you uh, for another successful round of testing. So I wanted to talk a little bit about final exams coming up also, where those are Thursday and Friday. Thursday, we'll take first and second period final exams. And then uh, we're on a regular day that day, so we go to all our classes. So... If you're getting an early dismissal, if you get an early dismissal that day, make sure it's after second period, okay? Because if not, the makeup finals are when we come back from Christmas break. So after second period, I strongly encourage everybody uh, that are planning on getting an early dismissal to do it after second period. Now, uh, we'll be here all day. We'll have lunch. And school will dismiss at 2.20 in a regular time So those that don't have an early dismissal and, and their own uh, means of transportation. So we'll still have school that day. Following day, on Friday, we'll give fourth and fifth period final exams, and then we're out of here at 10.55. That's when the bell rings and school day's over with, and the first semester is officially complete at that time. So uh, that's the final exam schedule. Now, this is new this year. It's been since 1990 than a final exam. There was no exemptions for final exams. So uh, we, uh, Sullivan County Department of Education requires that every student take the final. They have to take the final. That's what the language says. Okay, so everybody has to take the final. And uh, that's new this year. Okay, so uh, I think everybody's clear on what to do. And I just want to go over that with you. But that brings us to Christmas break. And uh, a happy holiday season to everyone. We'll be back on January 7th when we return from Christmas break. And I wish everybody a safe and happy holiday season and a very Merry Christmas. And I want to just emphasize to you all, I know I probably drive half of you crazy being the way I am, but I'm not going to stop because I know the potential that's inside of each one of you all. I know the potential that's inside of East High School. And I'm not going to stop until that potential is met and you, you don't need to worry until I stop if I stop staying on you if I'm if you know you're doing something you shouldn't and I don't say nothing that's when you need to worry because I that means I've gave up and I promise you I'm not going to I'm going to keep working I'm going to keep striving till I see that full potential in each and every one of the students here at Sullivan East High School meets that full potential and parents, I need your help with that. I need your help with that. I need you to help talking to your students, communicating with them about the decisions they make and how they behave when they're not under your, your roof and, and how they act when they're in a group. Uh, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, everybody is perfect. They're great. For some reason, the uh, chemical reaction or something happens when they get in groups sometimes and they act crazy. But just remember what George Washington said. It's a, it's a famous quote of him, and, and it is that he said, it's far better to be alone than to be in bad company. Just think about those words. It's far better to be alone than to be in bad company. You'll reach your full potential. Sometimes it may take a while, but I would rather you be alone, working hard, doing the right thing, than being in bad company, getting a bad reputation, and hurting yourself. So never forget that that reputation takes years to get over, okay? So do the right thing. Every one of you all, me, you, parents, students, we all know the difference between right and wrong. We know what we're supposed to do. So let's do the right thing always, always, always do that. I will stay on you all, pushing you all, working for you all to make sure that that always happens, okay? I'm never going to give up. And one thing I want to always emphasize, and if anybody says it, they're lying, they're wrong, and they're offensive if they say it. And that is, if they say they came to us and we did nothing, that's a, that's a bald-faced lie. 
we always do something. We work our butt off to try to maximize that potential for these kids. And we always will. Parents, I appreciate you working with me. You all call me. I love it, and I'm so thankful you do, that we can work together on these things with your children. It's amazing the progress some of them are making. We are pushing to new heights here at East High School. We are pushing to new goals and new aspirations. The standard has changed. Being good enough just isn't good enough anymore. We want to be great here. We have come light years in the last year and a half, and we're going to keep going in that direction. We'll keep moving forward. But we got to do it together by holding each other accountable, by working together, and being a strong unit, that strong unit, the strength in numbers, working together, being proud of who we are. Don't be afraid of who you are. Don't be afraid that we're from East. Be proud of it. It means something because you're a patriot and you're good enough. Don't ever forget that. Guys, thank you all for letting me be me. Thank you for letting me serve you. Thank you for letting me be the principal of Sullivan East High School. I love these kids. I love you guys, and I love this community. So let's keep working together. Let's be proud of where we're from and not be afraid of it when it's time to show it, okay? Thank you all, and have a very Merry Christmas. See you January 7th. I can't hide my patriot pride.